hello everyone uh, welcome in the next video tutorial of online movie ticket booking system today i am going to show you uh, the roles uh, how to assign the roles actually uh, we have two roles in the in this project actually so uh, you can check that uh, the table asp net roles uh, where we have two roles that is admin and the user so uh, after assigning the role uh, after um, inserting some roles into the uh, ASP.NET roles table then you can uh, use these roles uh, in controller sections by using the authorize, uh, authorizing data notations or you can say the authorize attributes. So uh, simply you can use uh, this authorize roles admin and users. If you want to use more than one users uh, in the authorize attribute you can separate that user with the comma admin and the users. So clearly you can uh, do this. The admin controller only authorize admin to check uh, that action methods or you can say uh, the methods or the code uh, only for the admin and uh, the card section only check the users uh, who, uh, who uh, are uh, authenticate in the app and the uh, everything uh, is anonymous like the home controller is the anonymous so the home controller is the anonymous and the cart controller that is cart t is used for the um, authorized user and the admin section is used for admin uh, roles now uh, after that you can run your application and easily uh, for checking that role uh, so first of all uh, login in the system uh, with the admin ID so after that admin at the redmyweb.com and the password is there you can uh, traverse all that uh, path uh, which is included in the project because that all role provided uh, to the admin um, for uh, there is no restrictions for the admin to uh, access the website but uh, if you check the roles that is applied on the card system and uh, only the admin can access the admin controller but the user cannot access the admin controller so just uh, log in uh, into the uh, user section and you can check that user can access the admin section or not whether or not uh, you can access uh, admin uh, user can access the admin functionalities so uh, finally you can log in uh, in the user section and check that user can access the admin section yeah it's not accessed by the restriction properties uh, because uh, only the authorize admin can authorize to view the admin page uh, carefully you can check your controller sections where only admin are authorized to view and check the authorize uh, to view and check the functionalities of the admin controller after that uh, we can make sure your links are properly working or not so uh, just check the card links uh, where you can check the card details so first of all uh, click on the book now uh, button of the movie uh, table and after that uh, you can check that your card uh, link is properly working or not so just uh, in the book now uh, CSS HTML uh, comes to the book now CSS HTML page and uh, you have two um, two links actually work, uh, is there that is one is check to cart and your order details okay so uh, um, give the uh, action names and as well as the controller name to the sections in the book now um, uh, CSS HTML page so uh, uh, in ASP controller card T uh, both are the related to the um, card controller and bo also, also both are related to the same action method uh, so first of all check it uh, the, the name of the action method uh, in the card controller uh, card uh, you can say the uh, card controller uh, yeah it's index method uh, that index method uh, link to the uh, both uh, um, hyperlinks that is index action method in both uh, links now after that you can check in the browser uh, that link are properly working or not yeah it's properly working but uh, uh, carefully uh, you can check that the index method 
of the index uh, it's not uh, found so first of all uh, check the view of the cart uh, view section of the cart control so uh, there is the index method or not whether is uh, uh, exist or not yeah the cart folder is not uh, under in the view section so first of all um, first of all create a new view uh, under the uh, cart uh, controller or you can directly add that view by using the control so right click on the view of the index section method and select the list because i want to uh, um, show all the uh, card details uh, in the index method so uh, after that you can uh, add the card as a model and uh, there is your um, index section method so uh, index uh, cshtml page you also do some modification in that page index.cshtml page remove that uh, links that is edit details uh, th these are the links under in the page uh, index.cshtml so remove it because there is no need to uh, it here because uh, i want uh, some details in that page uh, look like only the delete action method is uh, uh, taking uh, in that uh, index.cshtml page where you can delete uh, the page where you can delete the card details okay and after that you can proceed after adding some item into the card you can proceed to move further in the pay uh, section uh, if it is not there uh, there is the empty pay section so you can simply design that and move to the next section okay so uh, after that uh, you can create uh, a submit button for the proceed uh, method so for this uh, things we can add a submit button in the uh, index.cshtml page um, where your cart is exist and uh, move to the um, pay sections so uh, proceed is the action name and the controller name is the cart where uh, you move uh, your card details to the proceed sections for the payout if you want to add uh, a pay section in the proceed if it is not there then there is no need uh, to put that section in that demo project so you can leave it and uh, also uh, must to uh, add some finishing sections also because there is a uh, um, sections of the order details so you can uh, put some details in the proceed section after doing these things uh, you can check your project in browser section in browser uh, that is properly working or not uh, so uh, just log in into the user section that is smith and uh, just log in and uh, check that the card details is working or not uh, so first of all uh, check your booked seat uh, whether it is working or not uh, because the booking table is actually mm, the means of mm, the booked of your tickets uh, that is not inserted into the if you insert the uh, tickets into the cart and not proceed to, for further then that means of uh, you are not booked actually you are not booked uh, you are uh, not uh, doing finishing of your task finished of your task so simply i uh, i want to say something uh, the finishing means your tickets uh, will submit into the booking table uh, it's not actually exist in the cart okay if uh, the booking uh, tickets is actually exist in the cart they are also show in the uh, in that seat is also available it's not actually booked cart it means not booked okay so uh, you can check that your code uh, is properly working uh, yeah it's properly working because uh, only the uh, only one user can add that ticket into the cart and another user that is rob uh, also book that ticket because smith is not actually book that tickets so uh, if uh, you uh, 
Smith want to uh, book the tickets then should uh, that ticket plus into the booking table okay so you can check that code it's properly working that tickets is actually cart ex existing and seat uh, check the seat uh, book the seat is not there because the mm, seat is not booked properly okay after proceed you can finish that your task so again um, login into the smith account and check that ticket is uh, mm, booked uh, and remove the tickets from the cart because uh, Smith want to um, book that tickets. So remove the cart and uh, tickets is placed to the booking table. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to online movie ticket booking projects and ASP.NET Core. So thanks to for watching and please 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 I request you uh, subscribe my channel. Don't forget this. Uh, if you subscribe my channel, I will provide you better video tutorials of which is related to ASP.NET Core and relationships and independence injections and tutorials all things. And I help you by online systems and emails. Thank you very much.